A former University of Georgia professor has pled guilty to having child porn on a work laptop. <sighs> former University of Georgia professor accused of hoarding hundreds of child pornography images on his work laptop and other devices pleaded guilty in federal court Tuesday, prosecutor said. James Monaghan III faces up to 20 years in prison and a lifetime of supervised release after pleading guilty to possession of child pornography, the U.S. Attorney's Office for Georgia's Central District announced in a news release, it's actually Georgia's Middle District. The ex-political science professor faces a $250,000 fine and must register as a sex offender once his sentence is complete. The investigation demonstrates that no matter who you are, you will be held accountable for preying on children, Georgia Bureau of Investigation's Director Vic Reynolds said in a statement. We value our law enforcement partnerships to be able to catch and punish criminals who seek to exploit one of our most vulnerable populations. Monaghan resigned from the university in 2019 after becoming the subject of an investigation launched by the Department of Homeland Security, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported. A UGA spokesperson also confirmed Monaghan had been relieved of his duties and barred from campus. The investigation began after federal authorities received complaints that child porn was being distributed to users via the Kick Messenger app, according to prosecutors. The images were shared from account usernames Texan21225053 and UTB Ballplayeth03, both of which authorities said belonged to Monaghan. Homeland Security investigators, with help from the GBI and athens Clark County Police, raided the professor's home in September of 2019 and seized his electronic devices. His office on the UGA campus was also searched. A sweep of his work-issued laptop turned up 452 child porn images and eight videos depicting child sexual exploitation. Nearly 120 similar photos were found on Monaghan's cell phone. Prosecutors said the images involve victims younger than 12. Monaghan actively participated in the evil world of child pornography and blazonly engaged in his criminal behavior using a computer belonging to his employer. I'm glad that the federal government is involved in this. And the reason I'm glad the federal government is involved in this is because in Georgia, the state of Georgia's Board of Pardon and Paroles let out of prison the world's most prolific collector of child pornography. That's not my statement. That is how the judge described Peter Mallory. Peter Mallory was sentenced to prison for a thousand years. I want to compare Peter Mallory to this guy because you need to understand the difference here. You need to understand the double standard here. You need to understand what's happening here. This University of Georgia professor had how many pictures? of child pornography, 452 on his work laptop and 120 on his cell phone. So 572 pictures of child pornography this guy had, and he's going to go away for 20 years in federal prison. Peter Mallory had way more than that. The judge in his case was a state judge, not a federal judge. The judge described Peter Mallory as the world's most prolific collector of child pornography. Peter Mallory had over 26,000 pictures and videos of children being raped, tortured, and otherwise sexually exploited. The evidence at his trial showed that Peter Mallory didn't just have a choice in the matter, but had a compulsion for child pornography. In his office, Peter Mallory set up secret cameras to spy on young women who were using the bathroom. In 2012, a Superior Court judge in Georgia sentenced Peter Mallory to a thousand years in prison. In May of this year, the Georgia Court of Appeals upheld his thousand year prison sentence. Three weeks later, he was out of prison. Why? 
the Georgia Board of Pardon and Paroles allowed Peter Mallory out of prison. Despite a thousand-year prison sentence, the judge gave him a thousand-year prison sentence to ensure he could never be let out of prison. This latest guy, professor at the University of Georgia, James Monaghan III, he'll go to prison for 20 years and it'll be federal prison and there will be no opportunity for pardon or parole for him. He will not get out early. He will serve 20 years in prison and then he will be a registered sex offender for the rest of his life. Peter Mallory went to jail for a thousand years and barely served six years. Because the Georgia Board of Pardon and Paroles decided he had taken steps to get out of prison. Performance incentive credits reduced his thousand year sentence to seven years. It was seven years he was in prison. And our elected officials in Georgia have been staggeringly quiet about this case. Our elected officials in Georgia have been staggeringly quiet. None of them want to hold the Board of Pardon and Paroles accountable for this. Now, none of them are Brian Kemp's appointees. Nathan Deal packed the Board of Pardon and Paroles before he left office. All of the people on the Board of Pardon and Paroles were accountable to a governor who no longer is and have no loyalty to the governor who's there now. And while this man, Monaghan, will go to federal prison and will serve 20 years, Peter Mallory is now on the streets of Atlanta, apparently living in a halfway house from what I've been told, seven years into a thousand-year prison sentence. Where are the governor and the lieutenant governor and the Speaker of the House in Georgia on this? The feds seem to take child pornography seriously, and they're throwing Monaghan in prison for 20 years. And the federal prison sentence doesn't have uh, parole. He's not going to get out sooner than 20 years. Mallory, Peter Mallory, with a thousand-year prison sentence, gets seven years in his release for so-called performance incentive credits. And the Department of uh, Board of Pardon and Paroles doesn't have to explain it. Everything is kept confidential. There's no explanation for why. He just got out. 26,000 pictures and videos of children. And I'm not talking 17-year-olds. I'm talking three, four, five, six-year-olds. Raped. Tortured. Sexually exploited. This man was on the, the uh, county commission in, um, oh, whatever county LaGrange is, Troop County. He owned a, a TV station there, I believe. Set up cameras in his office for girls going to the bathroom. Disgusting. Where's justice here? I don't think there's justice when you have a, a man with 26,000 pictures and videos of children being raped, tortured, and, and, and sexually exploited, who's given a thousand-year prison sentence, and the Board of Pardon and Paroles in Georgia says, well, seven years, good enough. That's what happened. I think the state of Georgia, I think the people of Georgia need answers. The people of Georgia need to know, why was this man allowed out of prison? The people of Georgia need to know what the state legislature is going to do to the Board of Pardon and Paroles to fix this so something like that never happens again.